Stop calling it a war. Sorry, did I not say hello? How are you? Okay, now let me explain. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine did not start on the 24th of February. It started long prior to that. It nearly goes back to 1991, collapse of the Soviet Union. The Warsaw Pact was dissolved, but NATO just became more robust, looking in search of a mission. So they created this image that the Russian Federation is the substitute of the Soviet Union, which it obviously wasn't. So they got this into their heads and they steadily started moving east until finally they reached Ukraine, the border of Ukraine. At that time, the Ukrainian president was Yanukovych. He was oust by a violent revolutionary coup, of course organized by US and British MI6. So anyway, they overthrew the government and Poroshenko president took over. And that fucker was mean, an extreme nationalist. One of the first things he did is change the constitution of Ukraine. Before the constitution included two languages, Russian and Ukrainian, and now it included just one, Ukrainian. So about 30% of the country who were Russian and Russian speaking have now become second class citizens. They even require translators to do any sort of business. Of course, the Russian speaking areas were very displeased by this, to say the least. So Crimea and Donbass declared their independence from these mad revolutionaries. Poroshenko did not like this, so he launched attacks on Donbass. Not on Crimea, that would have been dodgy, we have our military there, have had for years. But in Donbass, where 14,000 people were killed. And continued to be killed all the way until Russia finally arrived. This year, on the 24th of February. I'm gonna try and wrap this up really quick. After that, Germany and France said, oh geez, we need to be peacemakers here and do something. So they created a Minsk agreement, which was signed by Donbass in Ukraine. The agreement was to grant semi-autonomy to the Donbass area. But USA, as always, to the rescue. They started flooding Ukraine with advanced arms. So Ukraine had no incentive to implement the Minsk agreement. Instead, they wanted war. But the shocker, Ukrainian people didn't actually want war. In 2019, they had it up to their tits with Poroshenko because that fucker just kept starting wars everywhere and they were looking for a peaceful candidate. Zelensky ran as a peace candidate. He stood up proudly. He wore a different shirt at the time, that's why you may not recognize him. And said, we will reboot the Minsk agreements and negotiations and we will achieve peace. And the crowd went, yeah! Of course, he didn't do that. He had no intentions of doing that. He took directions from the USA and we are where we are now. Russia moved in, but under very strict rules of engagement, which they are still under. Therefore, this is a special military operation. If this was war, Ukraine wouldn't have electricity, supplies, water, or the lovely hotels and vacations on Booking.com. More to come, stay tuned. <laughs>